Okay, class, we're back. And this time, we're going to take this figure that we've painted and add a dry brush technique. You're going to choose a neutral color. The color I chose was white. And not use a whole lot of paint. Just a couple squirts is good enough. You're going to use a flat, hard bristled brush. And you're just going to do this technique called dry brushing. When you dry brush, you just get a tiny bit of paint on your brush, and you actually wipe it off a little bit. And you're just going to brush over just so some of the paint comes off. Not very much, just a little. This paint is there to highlight the texture of the tape and the texture of your figure. As you're dry brushing, make sure that you step back every once in a while and consider how interesting that texture is looking. You might want to add a little more paint in one place than another. That might be too much paint there. Maybe take some away in another spot. Remember, dab a little paint, wipe it off, brush it onto your figure. Okay, I'm going to finish up and show you what the finished product looks like. Actually, let me show you something that might happen to you. I accidentally got way too much paint on this figure. This is way too much paint for dry brushing, so I'm going to take a newspaper and I'm just going to take some of that paint off. I'm not going to scrub it because that'll take the orange paint off too, but if I pat at it, it'll just take some of the white paint off and I'll be left with an interesting texture again. Okay, I am almost done. I wanted to just do a little bit of the arm so you see how fast this technique can actually go. I mean, I am literally just taking some quick brushes of the arm. And the hands. And look around. Before I decide I'm done, I'm gonna check my whole figure to make sure I am happy with the way the dry brush has highlighted the texture. I think I am. I think it looks very interesting. Oh, I could add a little more here. Yeah, definitely. Dry brush technique definitely enhances the texture of the figure. And then finally, I'm either going to use the same neutral color that I chose before or another neutral color to do the dry brush on my base. Because there isn't quite so much texture on the base, you can see I've overbrushed it a little so I can take my paper towel a little bit of off, getting floppy again. I can also make sure that when I do the dry brush, I make sure that I get a lot of the paint off. So I'm only putting a little paint on my base so that the main color still comes through. And I'm just adding texture to this paint, a sort of worn look. the interesting textures of the base. I think I might add a little bit more to that, but I don't know, I kind of like it that way too. There's a little texture, 
it's not overwhelming. Yeah, let's put this figure back up and let it dry. And we've got a painted aluminum foil figure with a dry brush technique to highlight the texture.